Good news! Trabaho sa Israel, isang libong aplikante ng hotel housekeeper ang kailangan po. Tara, panoorin natin to. Trabaho sa Israel, isang libo aplikante kailangan for hotel housekeeper. Wow! Continue watching! back into my channel. This is Justice and Blacks here again. How are you guys? I hope you are all in good health. Ayan. So, in this video po, we're going to tackle uh, about an uh, applying uh, as a hotel housekeeper here in Israel. Ayan. So, uh, September 23, 2019, this um, last month lang po, ayan. So, nakapaglabas na ang ating government in the Philippines. Ayan. So, regarding um, one day ang um, Israel po ay nangangailangan ng 1,000 applicants na hotel housekeeper housekeeper ayun so guys ayun so ano pang hinihintay nyo pumunta na po kayo ng POA and or uh, mag log in or mag register na po kayo here in the site ayun so ayun so i hope makatulong this video ayun so continue watching po and we're going to tackle um, the qualification ayun so the qualification na applying here ayun so of course um, the salary Ayan, so I hope makatulong this video and let's start in one, two, three. Hi, and so this is the good news, of course. Uh, and applying uh, as a house a hotel housekeeper here in Israel. Ayan, so yes, this is very good news to those who are really want to apply here and so as a housekeeper. And so please, if you really want to go and uh, apply na po kayo sa POEA. Ayan, so and so um, before we go to the salary of course i i want you to sh to say uh to tell you about the qualification uh on applying as a hotel housekeeper here in israel Ayan, so. okay these are the qualification of course you must a filipino citizen and you uh 25 years old and up your age of course very important physically and mentally fit and you can speak english if you are first time worker in Israel, no relatives working or residing in Israel, NBI clearance, of course, you need to have the National Certificate Level 2 or the NC2, which is the Housekeeper Certificate from TESDA. Ayun. Okay, so this is uh, from the Republic of the Philippine Department of Labor and Employment. Uh, Philippine Overseas Employment Administration or the POEA. Ayan, so, new advisory September 23, 2019, last month lang po in this year, Israel hiring hotel housekeepers through POEA only. Administrator Bernard P. Olalia said Filipino job seekers should avoid offers of employment from illegal recruiters who may take advantage of the reported 1,000 hotel housekeeping jobs for Filipino workers in Israel. Ayan, so, nag-open po kasi ang Israel na and uh, hiring sila and uh, they need 1,000 housekeepers, hotel housekeeper, applicants bago matapos ang taon. Ayan. So, ano pa pong hinihintay natin? Ayan, so punta na po kayo sa POEA if you are really qualified. Ayan, so register po kayo in the link. The next, we will going to read. Administrator Bernard P. Olayla, Olalia said the governments of Israel and the Philippines have signed an agreement on December 11, 2018, last year po, designating the, the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, which is the POEA, as the sole entity primarily responsible for the recruitment and deployment of the Filipino hotel workers. He said, applicants who meet the following qualifications and other preconditions set by the Israeli government may now register online through through e-services.poea.gov.ph Ayan, so if you are qualified po sa mga qualification na ito, ay wag na pong mag-atubiling if you are really want to apply, mag-register na po kayo here in this site, e-services.poea.gov.ph Ayan, so, ayan sa... POE lang po kayo pwede mag-apply para ma-prevent po ang mga illegal recruitment ng mga agencies. Ayan, so para safe pa rin po kayo. Ayan, so I hope malaking tulong po ito. And let's continue. Ayan, so qualification applying as hotel uh, housekeeper here in Israel. Of course, you are a Filipino citizen. 
has competently passed test assessment and certification and has acquired national certificate level 2 or in situ on housekeeping Ayan, so at least 25 years of age never previously worked in Israel Ayan, so never ka pa nakapag work here in Israel doesn't have parents or a spouse or children currently working or residing in Israel Ayan, so meaning to say uh, you don't have any relatives here working here or parents or any um, uh, siblings here working here in Israel and so has NBA clearance of course and very important physically and mentally healthy Ayan, so does not suffer from diseases or from chronic medical conditions including but not limited to tuberculosis hepatitis syphilis syphilis gonorrhea and aids and is and is capable of physically demanding hotel housekeeping work declares that he or she is diligent service oriented pays attention to of course pays attention to details and has a polite manner has good english language skills ayan sana importante din po yeah so, so, Administrator Bernard P. Ololia emphasized that inclusion in the, in the registry does not guarantee selection for work in Israel. Israel will randomly select no more than 75% of the qualified workers in the final database of applicants. In addition, the maximum number of selected applicants shall in no case be more than 1,000 workers. Ayun, so... Ano pa pong hinihintay na natin? Ayan, so if you are willing really, willing or really want to work here, ayan, so, ayan, so go na po sa PUA and ask everything about sa it. Sa PUA lang po kayo pwedeng mag-apply, okay? So, no other agencies, kundi PUA lang. Salamat. Ayan, so next po, I we're going to tackle about the salary, of course, of a hotel housekeeper. Ayan, so let's start. Ayan, so this is the salary that you're going to earn po uh, in your monthly salary as a housekeeper sa Israel, hotel housekeeper sa Israel. Ayan, so $1,500 monthly. Ayan, so equivalent of sa Philippine peso po ay 78000 pesos. Ayan, so depende po yun sa palitan kung 51 ang dollar sa Pinas or 50, uh, ganun 51. Ayan, so ang uh, minimum is $1,500. Ayan, so... So, di ba, malaki na po siya. And so, may minus sa po dyan. Minus, uh, hindi kasi included ang accommodation. So, let's start. Ayan, so, from the basic salary uh, sa Philippine Peso is 78,000 pesos po. Ma-minus ang 25% sa accommodation plus the health insurance. Nandun na po yung sa 25%. So, bale, kung ito total mo, i-minus mo ang 25% dun sa minimum na salary mo na 78K o 78 Philippine money. Ayun, so, mag uh, minus 25%, which is the accommodation plus the health insurance, kasama na siya nandun sa 25%, which is ang salary mo na marireceive mo monthly, is 58,500, ba Philippine money. So, saan pa po kayo, ba Malaki na siya. Malaki na siya. Kaya, uh, so, it's a big, uh, big, big money na po pagdating sa Philippines, sa Pilipinas. 58,500. I hope, ayun, so makatulong itong video sa inyo and may encourage po kayo na mag-apply ayun so ano pa pong hinihintay natin ayun so bago matapos ang taon let's do it and so di, di ba malaki na siya ayun so kung qualify ka na at alam mo na qualified ka dun sa mga requirements na kailangan so wag ka na magatubili mag-register ka na po sa e-services.poea.gov.ph ayun so I hope malaking tulong itong video na para sa Gusto talagang mag-apply as a housekeeper, hotel housekeeper. Ayun, so... Uh, I hope po nakatulong po itong video at marami akong uh, matulungan. Ayun, so please kung wag na magpatubili na pumunta sa POA and if you really want to apply. Ayun, so napaka konti lang yung kailangan. Ayun, so I hope, alam ko kayang-kaya nyo. Ayun, so just uh, focus on your dream na makaipon and makauwi ng maaga sa Pinas. Ayun. So, I hope makatulong tong video. And please, if you like this video, like and uh, share para marami tayong matulungan at ma-spread tong balitang to. Ayun. So, this is from the government na po talaga. Ayun. So, this was uh, declared last September 13 
lang po, nakita nyo naman po yun. So, ayun, so maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat na patuloy na nagsusubaybay sa aking channel and I hope naka-inspire at nakatulong po ako sa inyo. And this is Just Decent Vlogs here. If you are not yet subs na, na di pa kayo nakapag-subscribe in this channel, please subscribe and like, share of course. And I hope kahit anong pagsubok na tumarating sa buhay, ay go, go, go lang. Huwag susuko. Keep in touch. Ayun, so maraming salamat po. Just Decent Vlogs lagi nagsabi. Flying peace everyone. God bless po. Bye-bye.